Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2014 NASCAR.com Award Show. I'm your host for this fantastic journey, Chuck Bush, joined, as always, by my good friend, sometimes camera guy, and all-time host of Garage Cam, Matthew Dillner. Matthew, how was your off-season? My off-season was terrific, but we're not here, Chuck, to talk about the past. We're here to talk about the future. This is true, and you may be asking yourselves, why are these guys talking about the future? Well, a funny thing happened following the season, you may not recognize me right now because I used to have a full beard. Well, our six-time champion, Jimmy Johnson, following his championship victory at Homestead, shaved my beard. When he did, I got certain magical powers, which yes. allows us to bring you this show. Clearly, magical things were happening magical. In, in Florida. Now, Matthew, what is our first award of the day? Well, our first award is a big one. The best nose job of 2014. Yes, rhinoplasty was all the rage in the NASCAR garage this year, but clearly the winner is the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series truck. And as you can see, the nose was narrowed a little bit, giving a new meaning to nip tuck. Newtonian physics be damned. Exactly. Now moving on to our next award, it's the Ambrose Burnside Best Beard of 2014. Now, Jimmy Johnson and Paul Menard were neck and neck heading into... Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Now, these two furry favorites were heavily favor favored heading into the ferocious follicle finale of the summer series in the NASCAR season. Until... Until... Until an underdog of the bristled bunch kind of took over. A mid-season charge by Joey Logano put him on top and wins him the Ambrose Burnside Best Facial Hair Award of 2014. Way to go, Joey. And that leads us, Chuck, to our next award, Best Photobomb 2014. Now, for those of you who may not know what a photobomb is, it was a technique that was developed by the ancient Egyptians and perfected by famed studio photographer Matthew Brady in the mid-1850s, leading to the internet sensation that we know today. And the winner of this year's 2014 award, Clint Boyer. Boyer was the bomb when it came into getting into some shots on the internet. He was the photo bomb king and really showed his stuff getting into some interesting shots all over the worldwide interwebs. Tell you, Matthew, that Clint is one crazy individual. He sure is. Now, this brings us to our next award, which is the Victory Lane Celebration of the Year. And at Bristol, everybody knows pyrotechnics all over the place, but no celebration was as good as this. In August 2014, Matt Kenseth won again at Bristol and was joined in Victory Lane by a surprise guest. Now, clearly, it was Bristol Rock City this year. And no guitar solos from Matt Kenseth. Thank you for that. Yes. Now, speaking of rock and roll, our next award is the Kyle Petty Crossover Artist of the Year. The hair, the music, Kyle Petty. Almost Yanni-like. Yes. So many in the NASCAR community were looking forward to the late summer release of Hendrick Motorsports label's new offering from Dale and the Juniors, a smooth jazz album that rivals the likes of Dizzy Gillespie and Wynton Marsalis. Now we here at NASCAR.com have a sample of the album, so let's take a listen. <laughs> Our cat sure can make Louis Armstrong sound mm -hmm. like Louis Anderson. He sure can swing. But we need to move on to our final award of the night. It is the Abner Doubleday Award for Athletic Excellence and Athlete of the Year. This award crowns the most athletic athlete who excels and shines in athletics on the NASCAR circuit. Department of Redundancy Department? Shut up. Well, anyway, this award was hotly contested by former NFL star Donovan McNabb, and NASCAR's very own Mike Harmon. But the winner of the prestigious Abner Doubleday Award for Athletic Excellence goes to... Shockingly, Jimmy Johnson. Old Six Time had a Memorial Day feat that could not be beat. In the morning, he started it off with a win in a marathon. Later in the day, he won an endurance race at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. That evening, he traveled all the way to Spain and ran with the Bulls in Pamplona. Rift in the space-time continuum, you ask? <laughs> Not for Jimmy Johnson. No way, and he's no bull when it comes to athletics. So true, but sadly, that brings us to the end of our 2014 NASCAR.com award show. Keep it locked to NASCAR.com to see if we're full of bull or not. And for Matthew Dillner, this is Chuck Bush. 
saying we'll see you in the future. Aren't we in the future? We are in the future, but it really doesn't. They, they're in the future, we're in the future. It really doesn't matter. Well, we're, they're watching us, so it's in the past. Listen, I, I've had about enough of that, okay?